you might like to be with this band. Uh, and you can do that, perhaps, if you are, I would say, driving distance uh, from this studio. And we've got news of Quebec as well. Uh, we're going to tell you all about it. If you're a worship leader, you can get some training from the best as well. So just stay tuned for that. Let's bring these two of these men on set, father and son, Paul. Hi, Mara. Welcome back. Good to see you again. And what a treat, David. Hi there. Welcome. Middle child. Yes. Uh, yeah. Are you the tallest? Uh, yes, I am. Wow. Taller than him. How does it make a dad feel? You know, I love it when mm. I see some of the musicians that have been part of my Christian journey yeah. appearing now with their kids worshiping with them. Yeah. Uh, this is, Bob, how do you feel about it? Ah, super proud, super, yeah. you know, blessed and honored. And, you know, it's, 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 it's amazing how fast it goes, eh? When they're just born and then they grow up and then you relate to them, not, not as a child anymore, but as a, as a friend and as a, still a son, always a son, but, but fun, right? Yeah. Gifted as, musician. As a man, yeah. I was teasing. I said, well, David, is this what you wanted to do when you grow up? I mean, it, I, the arts is your passion. Yeah, the arts, singing, acting, uh, dancing sometimes by myself. But, uh, uh -huh. uh, but yeah, the arts is my passion, so I love singing, coming on the road with them when I can. And you know what impresses me the most? Don't get emotional. <laughs> is that you've kept Jesus at the center of the pursuit of your dreams. Mm -hmm. That doesn't always happen. Hmm. in the best of Christ-centered homes. Yeah. What did mom and dad do right that you want to live for Jesus? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Uh, well, I guess they, um, they've really supported me a lot. I know the arts is, it's a, difficult, it's a difficult industry to let your kids go into. I think when I told my, my mom, like, well, I want to become an actor, she said, oh, no, well, like, you should be a doctor or something. Or, or that's the mentality I think a lot of parents have. But, uh, but I think they've just been super supportive of, of me wanting to pursue the arts and yeah, even though it's, it's difficult. <laughs> now, Paul, do you anticipate having this uh, uh, backup vocalist for a while? You know, whenever he's available, he, all our kids were kind of, you know, I've been the worship pastor at my church 20 years this year. Wow. So they kind of yeah. didn't have a choice. It was sort of like, hey, I need a bass player this Sunday. Hmm. I need you to sing this Sunday. Hey, I need you to play piano this Sunday. So uh, they've kind of just been raised in the church and uh, we've tried to keep our, our home God-centered and uh, not, not perfect. You know, we, we go through our, our uh, bumps like every other family, but we've just tried to hold on to the Lord and keep Him first in our life. And, um, and fortunately, our kids are, have caught that as well in their hearts. You know, one of the things I didn't know about you, and it seems a number of people around here haven't heard the story of where your spiritual journey began. It's, it's unusual. Well, yeah, in a, in a nutshell, in a very small nutshell, sure, I was playing clubs in New Jersey and, you know, as a late teenager and thought that was the big deal. And uh, somebody showed me a, a business, a multi-level marketing. I don't know if I can say the name, but, and then I thought, leave it out. Just and I thought, wow, that. yeah, that's so neat. And we went in and me and my friends were like, yeah, we're going to make money. We'll have a studio on a yacht someday. And, and we, so we went to one of these weekend conferences and there was a band on stage and, you know, Friday night and all day Saturday, they told you how to build your business. But Sunday was optional and we went, we thought, hey, you know, maybe we'll learn something. <laughs> and boy, it was all the same people that had talked about how to build your business got up and gave their testimonies about how, you know what, you can make all the money in the world. And if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, then it doesn't mean a thing. And there was a band playing with drums and guitars. I'd never seen such a thing. I was, you know, raised in a church where I'd never experienced that kind of expression. And so myself, my older brother, a bunch of our friends, we went down like in the classic Billy Graham style, you know, and just said, Lord, we want you to be, you know, come into my life, be my savior. And uh, that was over 20 years ago. And mm -hmm. it's, it's stuck. I mean, that just... You know. There was even a, 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 a music hook, a specific hook, I think. How great thou art. Right. Did that get you down to your toenails? Right. It just blew me away to hear because I was so into music and music was everything as a, as a teenager and rock music. And to see a rock band, but playing songs that spoke about the Lord and sang about the Lord, the power of that just, mm. just really, God really used that in my life. And so my, both for my wife and I, 
you know, pretty much felt like, you know, not long after that, boy, we'd love to be involved in that kind of thing where, where we could be involved in music that has the potential to encourage people in their faith, you know, and draw them closer to the Lord. You've said the best worship songs come out of worship, out of personal worship. And, and someone yeah. here in this studio really framed your ministry on stage as being a guaranteed worship experience, mm. not a performance, mm. but a worship experience. It is mm. personal worship when you're singing. It is. I need the Lord every day. And so when I'm singing, I'm crying out to Him from the inside, you know, from the inside saying, Lord, I need your grace today. I need your strength today. I need your wisdom today. I need your word and uh, I need your direction. And so I feel like singing or worshiping is such a, a way to sort of express that and get that, some of those emotions and those feelings, or even when you're walking through a hard time, uh, I find writing songs I'm just saying, God, I need you in this, you know, that's where a lot of these songs start. You know, they just start with that from my own personal walk with the Lord. And then it's, it's, uh, it's a privilege to be able to share that, the, those finished songs with others and mm -hmm. to find, to see that, hey, they're finding encouragement as they sing these songs.